We kick off tonight's sports with football. All upcoming professional football games in Spain, France and Portugal, as well as some in Germany and a European Championship qualifying match in Slovakia, will be played in NP stadiums because of the coronavirus outbreak. It is also said non-professional football matches can't be played with crowds bigger than 5,000 people. The first major game without fans in the Spanish league will be between Real Madrid and Ibar at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium on Friday. Champions League matches are also being affected in Spain, including next week's game between Barcelona and Napoli at the Camp Nou. Barcelona said that match will have no fans in attendance. Two Europa League matches in the country have also been affected, Sevilla vs Roma on Thursday and Getafe vs Inter Milan on March 19th. Under the Champions League, Tottenham exited the Champions League without a fight as RB Leipzig ran out 3-0 winners on Tuesday to reach a quarter-final going through 4-0 on aggregate. Spurs kicked off needing at least a goal, but that became free midway through the first half as Marcel Sabitzer scored twice. There was to be no Champions League miracle for Spurs this year, barely creating a clicker chance as Leipzig eased out the game in second gear, sealing the victory late on through sub Emil Forsberg's first touch. Elsewhere, Atalanta got past Valencia 8-4 on aggregate after winning yesterday 4 goals to 3. We move on to women's cricket. England will begin the defence of their Women's World Cup title against T20 World Cup champions Australia in Auckland on Sunday, February 7, 2021. Host New Zealand opened the tournament against a qualifier at the same venue Eden Park the previous day. England will play the Kiwis at Hagley Oval in Christchurch on 20th February, a week before it stages the final. New Zealand, Australia, England and South Africa are the only sides to have definitely qualified for the 8th team tournament which has semi-finals on the 3rd and 4th of March after a round-robin group stage. Either India or Pakistan will qualify from the ongoing ICC Women's Championship with the team that does not qualify joining West Indies, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Ireland, Thailand, Zimbabwe, Papua New Guinea, United States and the Netherlands in a qualifying tournament set to be held in Sri Lanka this summer will produce the final three teams. England are the reigning champions after beating India in the 2017 final at Lords. Continuing with our sports news, concerns regarding the spread of the deadly COVID-19 virus has led to the postponement of the 2020 Grenada Invitational Organizer said in a statement yesterday. In recent weeks, the coronavirus has spread to 111 countries and has infected more than 100,000 people across the globe, killing more than 3,000 of them. It is against this background that the local organizing committee of the relays has taken what they have described as a difficult decision. Elsewhere, Jamaica will not be sending athletes to the annual pen relays in Philadelphia out of concern for the safety of its athletes who run the risk of being exposed to the deadly COVID-19 virus, Jamaica's health minister announced on Tuesday. Finally, in tonight's sports news of basketball, the Los Angeles Lakers will chalk up their surprise home loss to the Brooklyn Nets as one of those games. Spencer did with his jump shot with 28.3 seconds remaining proved the difference as the Brooklyn Nets escaped Staples Center with a 104-102 victory on Tuesday night. LeBron James missed a late layup that could have forced overtime before Anthony Davis missed a three-point attempt at the buzzer that would have earned the Lakers victory. Instead, the Lakers' four-game winning streak, one that featured signature back-to-back -back victories over the Milwaukee Bucks and the LA Clippers, was snapped. The defeat was the Lakers' first home defeat since February the 6th. That's how we end sports news for tonight.